Okay, this is another video. This is another video using the method of integration called trigonometric substitution to evaluate an integral. So for this example, this is example number four. We are going to evaluate the integral of the square root of 16 minus 25 x squared over x squared dx. So from the pattern, we can see from the radicand, we have 16 minus 25 x squared. So it follows the pattern. It follows the pattern a squared minus u squared, wherein a is 4, so that's 4 squared minus 5x quantity squared. Therefore, we let 5x equals 4 sine theta. So we were able to discuss how we came up with this based on our previous discussions. After that, we solve for x. x equals 4 over 5 sine of theta and find its differential dx equal to 4 over 5 cosine theta d theta. Now remember, because this is substitution, so we must take note that we introduced the new variable u, so we must be able to express change all variable x in the given now to theta. Now we are able to have, now we have something to replace dx now in terms of theta. So we have 4 over 5 cosine theta d theta. And then we still have x squared in the denominator. So we have to replace that in terms of theta. But since we have x here, which is equal to 4 fifth sine theta, then we can just raise x to the power of 2 and that would give us x squared equals 16 over 25 sine squared theta. Also, from the pattern, 16 minus 25 x squared equals 16. The counterpart of a sine is cosine, so this is cosine squared theta. We now have something to replace the radicand 16 minus 25 x squared. So these highlighted expressions we are going to use that now to substitute to our given. That would be the square root of 16 cosine squared of theta divided by 16 over 25 sine squared of theta. And dx is 4 over 5 cosine of theta d theta. Now we extract the square root. That's 4 cosine theta over sine squared theta. This 16 over 25 here, we are going to multiply that as 25 over 16 times 4 over 5 cosine theta d theta. So we can cancel out some of the constants. We can cancel out 16 because we have 4 and 4 here. Then we can cancel out 5. So what's left is 5 in the numerator. So 5 integral. We multiply cosine and cosine here. That would give us cosine squared theta and we have sine squared theta in the denominator d theta but cosine over sine is cotangent so that's cotangent squared theta d theta there is no integration rule for cotangent squared theta so we can use our identity to express this in terms of cosecant. So 5 integral cosec cotangent squared theta is cosecant squared theta minus 1. 
d theta then we distribute that's 5 integral of cosecant squared theta d theta minus 5 integral of d theta integrating we have negative 5 cotangent of theta minus 5 theta plus c now we have to bring back theta to the original variable using the substitution equation now we draw our right triangle to show the ratio of the sides the relationship if 5x equals 4 sine of theta then sine of theta is equal to 5x over 4 recall that sine theta is opposite over hypotenuse so we label our triangle this is 5x and then the hypotenuse is 4 therefore the adjacent side is 16 minus 25x squared now we solve for cotangent cotangent theta is equal to what is cotangent that is adjacent over opposite and the adjacent side is the square root of 16 minus 25 x squared and the opposite side is 5 x also if sine theta is equal to 5 x over 4 then Using that, theta is equal to the arc sine of 5x over 4. We can now substitute this to our answer. We have negative 5. We have negative 5. Cotangent is square root of 16 minus 25x squared over 5x minus 5 arc sine of 5x over 4 plus c we cancel out 5 here so our answer is negative square root of 16 minus 25 x squared over x minus 5 arc sine of 5x over 4 plus c so that is our answer